My guys, sorry about that. I had to get off uh, Wi-Fi because I had to go on data because the Wi-Fi doesn't reach all the way out here. All right, but I was able to get him back from that gate, so watch. And that's my default. And if you said, well, what is that telling you? It's telling me I got a lot of momentum coming in my direction, and that's possibly something I could work with. Yeah, that's what it's saying to me. I think if they're not doing it at all, if they're not defaulting at all, they're coming back at you. Casper! So I just drew a little small curved line with the pages right there. And what it's going to do is cause the dog to keep to keep reverting back to moving back in my direction. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? So if you said, well, what are you going to do with all that? Well, I'll figure out something. That's what you got to say. I'll figure out something. If I've got this thing coming right at me and all these different things, I'm looking to do this. Oh, what is possible? Look at Shoe Bottom. She's awful. She just ran away. She just ran completely away. She's absolutely awful. She's absolutely awful. Look at her. Oh, she ran back at least. Oh, she's awful. And don't say she heard something because she's deaf. You know, so I'm understanding I'm using this dog to help me get momentum. I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna put it out there. I've got a lot of distance. If I can get shoe bottom. You know, it's so you're sizing it up the whole time. I'm saying to myself, what angle does this dog need to be at for me to draw, you know, that physical line that'll turn it back in my direction. You've gotta think of it in those terms. If part of you is not able to see it that way. Part of you said, come on, boy, be a good boy, come over here. Ruffle, ruffle, ruffle your ears. You know, you're, you're, you're gonna be lost, you're gonna lose it. You're thinking of it just as a, from, a, you're a technician, I think, at this point. I, I, I hope that makes sense, Monica, but part of you is just operating as a technician. So if you said you could actually probably, you know, give people the tech specs and that could compensate for, yeah, it really could. It's, it, that's, that's why it's technical training. You're gonna compensate. Casper! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I increased my distance away by moving away. That bought me more distance. So I'm saying until I have, you know, X amount of momentum coming back in my direction. And I had done like 10 days with this dog when it was a little puppy. So I think, you know, Monica, if you guys did this in your, um, you know, your puppy class, even if you installed it, Casper! Yay! 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 I'm not forcing him to come to me. If I continue to make somebody believe they want to do something, it's been my experience that they think that's what they want to do. <laughs> you know, they're very, very easy to psychologically manipulate. I'm not saying to myself, dogs love me. Get over here. You better listen to me. Because that's very, very personal. And that doesn't transfer to the other people. You know, if you've done a lot of personal corrections, it doesn't transfer. That doesn't transfer. You know, it doesn't because it was personal. That's why corrections have to be impersonal. You know, and, and really you're put, you know, you know, this is just, uh, this is just a page. Of, look at this freak show. She's a monster. I need to bring her up there and drop her off at that school in Canada. That's what I tell her all the time. right over by the fence, right where the neighbors can see her and pooping, right by their yard. Oh, she's awful. i got to get out of here. Oh, luckily, it's bike week and they're still asleep because they party every night. Thank God. You know, but this dog, is, you know, until you've got one that's not, you know, his, his main plan is not getting away from me. He's ready to come back in my direction. You know, but this is just, you know, Monique, until you can let yours, it's what I call the Wizard of Oz effect. When Dorothy wanted to go away to the land of Oz, when everything that she needed was really at her own house. Sure, she had to go through all that to figure that at the end, but, you know, that's what dogs have to go through, too. They have to realize you can't be forced to stay, you know, you've got to believe that's where you want to be. It's like me. As soon as they can deliver, uh, you know, fresh food to my house, they probably already do that. I'm never leaving my house. There's people out there are absolutely awful. 
When the people I should start talking to me, I don't see plumbing trucks and start saying, well, I got a, st I got a clogged sink. Can you give me some advice? All right, look, that's, that's an armadillo hole right there. That's not good. Just step in it. Just go back and fill that in. Actually awful. You know, but I've got a dog that's, you know, wanting to stay with me. You know, I've got something I can work with at this point. Me having spent this time putting a leash on and jerking him and correcting him for pulling wouldn't do any good. He believes there's something out there. He believes there's a demarcation line out there. That's what I want you to understand. If, if there isn't, if you don't have the pager, and these people that use the constant, the demarcation line, they've that's why the dogs don't leave the handler. They've created not a demarcation line. They've created uh, you know, a black hole that this dog is afraid to fall in. So it stays right by them because going away resulted in, you know, so you're, that's why I put it like that. You're just drawing a very soft, a very soft line, understanding that you're probably gonna have to shore that up with a little bricks and mortar later on, you know, but that's where you're at. Okay, so I know they're usually gonna kind of run. Where's she bottom? She'll go running right past me. You know, look how she lives her life. Do you really think I'm gonna put a, a collar on her and jerk her and she's gonna want to and she's gonna say I learned my lesson I'll stay right with her now so I'm looking to get a little bend on him and if you oh, I got a video I just found it's a good example of how you're starting the pager before because that's where people go wrong and I saw that Sean O'Shea video they're doing it Casper I'm gone, I'm gone as many feet away as I can get. And if you said, well, that just means, he just thinks Casper means you're taking off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it means. That's what it means. It doesn't mean get over here, sit, and it's time for that ear rub you've been craving all morning. <laughs> I'm losing it, you guys, I am. There is something wrong with me. There's something wrong with somebody that uploads this much content. No, but it's not inhibiting the dog's free agency at all. And he's got a natural behavior now of running back at me. I think you've got to look for that. If you let one loose, that awful... Oh, Monica, I hope you saw that video that I posted where that woman had all those... Because this is what your average dog trainer thinks that they need to be good at. Um, I'm just going to swim in a minute. I hope he's watching me. Um, is making all these dogs stay behind a gate and telling them to go out one by one. Your average person thinks, oh my God, this is the greatest thing ever. Meanwhile, these dogs are all joyless. Some of them are slinking past because they've had their asses uh, lit up, you know, by this woman, you know, who looks like something from the Bolshevik Re Revolution. Uh, so they're slinking past her. Most of them were slinking down, avoiding eye contact. The last one is so bored, senseless, it's looking the other way. She then kind of squats down a little body language, squats down, not bad, tries to call it. It then realizes and shoots right past her while she throws her arms up in the air. So there's nothing in dog training where you throw your arms up in the air. Let me just tell you that right now. That, let that woman be an example. But, you know, I would rather see somebody be able to get a whole pack of them charging back into a pen then one by one joylessly slinking out because somebody has committed hours and hours and hours correcting, personally correcting each one of these poor bastards so they don't even want to move anymore. And I think couldn't get away from this woman fast. It was awful. It was actually awful. So if you don't have any default of the dog staying by you, you've got to work on all that and not take it out on the leash. Casper! And if you said you didn't spin him around, I absolutely spun him around. And if you said it's only a soft line, yes, it's only a soft line. That's what you want, you know. He's not going back in his kennel saying, what the hell? What the hell just happened? At all. And I haven't risked ruining somebody's dog by trying to hit it with constant. Constant was right, right, I guess. I, have, I would be, I'd be all over it. I don't do anything halfway, obviously. You know, 
them. So I've got a few little spins in on them, and that's what I want. I've got a good, I don't want to do it to the point I don't have any free agency. I think that's, that's what these stimmers do. That's why they've got these dogs that won't go away from them. They kill off free agency, and then they just don't move anymore. They just sit there. Honestly, I mean, no, no, some guy, I met some guy uh, yesterday from Facebook, and uh, apparently he confronted Sean O'Shea like a year ago and said the dogs look beat down, just like Mark said. And the guy went off the deep end. So that's probably why he's having such a bad reaction to me saying this. You know, if you're protesting that much, if somebody said your dogs, my dogs looked uh, beat down or shut down, I'd laugh and laugh. I mean, I wouldn't put up a great big post saying, well, they look shut down because, well, they're very stressed. And I mean, they're problem dogs, you know. You started to run away. You do have to be careful to. You don't want full speed to always mean coming back in your. But you don't want it not to. Casper! And I continue moving that way. That's where people go wrong. They want to stand there and they want to try to force the dog's momentum towards them and that doesn't work you can get it going in your direction if you said how do you know that because if one of them runs they all follow <laughs> you know if one of them runs they all they and if you said oh they just do that because they can't help themselves they're hardwired exactly that's what we need to be exploiting you know not trying to correct pulling that's a normal behavior if you said describe a dog oh they pull they jump they bite they dig yeah they run yeah that's what they are you know You're following certain rules. I think up there where you've got to find some place, Monique. You've got to let the dog run until it's Casper. Yay. So I've drawn a very soft line, but he's all about it. Yeah, <laughs> he's all about it. Shoe bottoms run off. Oh, oh God, she's over there looking for rabbits. Oh, God. She's awful. She's so big, though. I don't even know how she can catch one. Oh, she's trying, though. She's going in the bushes. She's awful. Look at her. She's awful. I don't know how she can catch one, though. She's so big. Look at her. She's absolutely awful. Casper! Yay! I said, why did you do it right then? Because you do need to practice spinning them away from, and I don't even say it as other dogs, they're just entities. That was another living entity. I spun it away from that. Whether it's a cow, it's a horse, it's a person, it's a dog. I, I, you can, they can generalize. You know, I'm not, I could get this puppy out here with a long line and pull it to me if you it's still gonna to say to itself, I wanna to gravitate to free agency because if sentient beings just wanna be happy, that's what they're gonna do. Happy isn't, that's happy. He's looking for something. Please don't let there be another dead rabbit in the bushes. Yeah, but you're not, you know, if you said, well, I got out there with the pager and I, you know, it started ignoring it, then I would be able to say, well, do this and this, and, you know, change it up a little bit, but you know, that's the only risk that you've really got, you know, and occasionally you will get one that's startled by it. When that happens, I say, good, I got this one. I got this one's number. You know, let me show it real quick here what's going on, and it's obviously that willing to be, you know, if that gets its attention, what would happen if I hit it with constant, you know? So I've got a puppy that's operating, and I think that's what you have to think of. You've got a little corral around you, and they can run. That's why most of my dogs have, those labs have a very well-developed short lope. They understand that the area they're running in isn't infinite, but they're gonna use as much real estate as possible. So anyway, guys, that was just creating a soft line, and that's how I want you to think of it. You're not getting out there and if you said, well, he doesn't even really realize her, you know, he really doesn't. Casper! 
And if you said you spun him like a top, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. And if you said, well, how did you, I drew a soft line. You know, that's, it's, I've installed that behavior. The behavior's there now. I want you to watch him. I just want you to observe. And if you said, well, dogs already have that behavior of spinning around. Oh, absolutely. You're just putting it where you need it. Look at this freak show. She is some kind of lunatic. If she could just catch a fish, that'd probably go viral. But you see what's happening. Her moving is exciting to him. So I'm saying to myself, hmm, things that move. He seems to like that. Maybe I could be one of those things. Watch this. Casper! If you said, what did you do? Oh, I yacked it all up. I made it look like I was making the most dramatic exit you've ever seen. You know, so, well, that one's moving, but so is this one. I'll go with this one. It's not going to be that one's moving. That one's standing there waiting to rub my ears. Anyway, you guys, I'm sorry. I know I'm just way off the deep end. I'm going to go, uh, and I'm going to get another one. But I don't know. Lucy, tell me if you're there what, you know, how old the dog is. Because I will tell you, with older dogs, you do have to, I think, develop that resignation. You know, and I, I, you know, if somebody says, well, I've resigned myself to the fact that you really aren't, you know, you know, well, I'm very bitter, I've resigned. Well, maybe you could be bitter, but it's just, just a resignation of, yeah, I've just, you know, that's just how it is. So you do have to kind of create that with older dogs. What a little cutie pie. But so that's what I've done. I've introed the collar and the end result is all this dog's momentum is facing me. You know, if we said, what are the two choices of a dog? Well, they can either be looking at you or not. You know, those are the two choices. They're either looking at you or they're not looking at you. And, and what you're doing is determining that. So at the end of this, ever how long this video was, you know, this is what I've got. Then I can say to myself, and then I've got this. Look at that face. She's so mean. She's awful. me she did actually have some training she's got a train to retrieve and everything oh but look this puppy went over here and defaulted to a down because i wasn't paying attention to him you know, but i think that's what you have to say if that's not where we're at at the end of a session with a puppy then we're definitely failing if we're systemically creating an individual that is coming up with plan because if you don't think i come up with plans to get away from people i do I come up with all kinds of plans. If there's anybody I don't want to be around, I come up with any, I concoct anything. I can just have the most elaborate plans you've ever seen to get away from these people. So I've got my default down and I drew my soft line. So, you know, that's all you're doing in the beginning. You're drawing a soft line that you can add some bricks and mortar later by your Nick. And, you know, I'm not totally against constant. I've got videos of dogs being, you know, having constant used on them. Not that you could tell, but I mean, you know, I'm not completely, there are individuals, there are a percentage of individuals by virtue of their physiology and by virtue of the fact they're fortified against any kind of corrections or any external, you know, I mean, the reason pits are, have to have those hotter colors is because they don't have the pain, they've got a pain tolerance beyond what other dogs do, so... They just don't feel things. They just don't feel it. And you go, so that's where we're at. That was the end of the session. I've got a dog that not only wants to be with me, but is doing the default down. So it just drew a very soft line. And I'm saying to myself, every time I paint that line again, you know, I'm, you know, and with these labs, I mean, you can see he's already developing a real spectacular type spin. And if you said, what's that a result? Just the speed that it's going at. You know, it's not that I'm really able to say, put your foot, 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 foot. Uh, but they all have the exact same footwork. And the reason is, it's the result of the speed that they're going. Because that's how dogs turn when they're going fast. So, anyway, guys, I'll be right back. Where's her shoe bottom now? She's now right there. That's, that's what she's doing. Now, she's getting a squirrel. And when we go back down there, she'll be getting the fish until we walk back there. Then she'll be getting the rabbits. This is her joy. I'm not going to break her from that. Anyway, Christy, I hope you can see. He's doing absolutely perfect. Bye, guys.